Singing and dancing is very much part of an indigenous people's lives. You know, unlike us in America, we just work, work in front of the computer, and the work is separate from life. But for them, because of the nature around them and the way their life is, therefore their art is intertwined with the life itself. Ah, I am Lan Lan Wang. I am professor of dance at Connecticut College. And the troupe's name is Yunnan Indigenous Musicians and Dancers. Yunnan is situated in the southwest corner of China and uh, is mountainous from the high altitude of over 10,000 feet sloping down to approximately 100 feet. In this land, there are four major rivers. And throughout the history, the indigenous people have lived in this area and they have been isolated from the outside world. China is a country comprised of the majority of Han people. Diversity means people who are different from the majority. <laughs> Yunnan province, the majority of the Yi people live in Yunnan. The Yi ethnic group, uh, they have found a place to live, and uh, many of them probably crossed the border from other places, and they have found it there a uh, living environment and uh, created their own culture. For example, they sing when they're harvesting. The movement cultivates such kind of rhythm then they started making up songs, and they started humming, and they started creating movements. And that's how the indigenous cultures are created. When the men and women, they encounter each other, Instead of using the dialogue, they present it with songs. So their courtships are expressed through songs. And uh, I think the songs celebrate life and celebrate joy and s celebrate uh, their feelings for each other. The Yi music, they do have their specific styles. For example, Li Huai Xiu, the woman came out with this long, sustained voice. That one single tone, she discovered she can sustain the so long through practice, through discovery and uh, through her own self-expression. Uh, they use the different pitch, and they use the different length of the tone, and uh, they also created the melody by fusion of the complexity of the natural tone of voices. But they're singing in their own native language. For the Yi people, they believe in fire. For example, they have the torch festival that celebrate 
their New Year. People gathered around the torch, the bonfire. They celebrate, they sing, and they dance for hours, hours, and the day and night. And the fire is a symbol of hope for them, and also a symbol of prosperity. The Yi ethnic group, uh, they live surrounded by woods. So a lot of their instruments are actually made from trees. The moon guitar. It is a four-string guitar. Uh, they play with a pick. And uh, then they use the tree trunk to make the body of this particular instrument. And on the top of there's a dragon's head. Dragon's association with fire. <laughs> it has a very particular sound. These people respect history tremendously. And uh, even in some of the ethnic groups in Yunnan, they do not have their own language. And therefore, for them, you know, wanting to express the history of their cultures, they create dances or they will make music and in order for them to sustain the history of their own ethnic group. These are endangered cultures. These cultures existed throughout history because of isolation of mountains and rivers. Freeways are being built, and there are a lot of tourists are pouring into this part of China. Bring more and more people come to look at these exotic cultures, theme parks being built, and uh, some of the ethnic artists being brought into the theme parks to present their cultures that no one has ever seen. Uh, is the marketing value that is hurting these cultures. Hopefully, this tour of the United States and coming to Kennedy Center is helping to empowering these artists. Not only that, they will be bringing this back home. And uh, hopefully, Yunnan province and uh, the different ethnic groups, they will appreciate what Americans have appreciated on this trip and will make a great effort in preserving these cultures.